This is Kampala, the heartbeat of the Pearl of Africa. The beautiful city with a checkered history. A history of nicely paved roads and of large potholes, of disease outbreaks and sparkling hospitals. A history of big conferences and catastrophic wars, of peaceful gardens and dangerous riots. Kampala has been host to the biggest and the smallest, has had high and low moments. A city of hope and despair, of standing still and moving forward. Sometimes we have despaired, with traffic jams and flooded streets, with bad roads and potholes and darkened side alleys. We have all walked through the garbage and fought through the crowds. We have lived through the disease outbreaks with nowhere to run. And yet we have continued to come to the city in the thousands, living in slums and squalid conditions, hawking on the streets, striving to get ahead, thriving off this city. Indeed we have. Kampala City Council has met these challenges head on in the face of political hindrances and social upheavals. It belonged to all of us and yet it belonged to nobody. So you could get directives from different authorities and whatnot and you failed to get a direction. It received little from central government and collected even less from its revenue base until the problems began to weigh down. The head of state asked me how much money I was getting from central government at that time. I said, Your Excellency, I'm getting 80 million. I said, is it per day? I said, no, per annum. Then corruption became rampant and service delivery suffered. Kampala City Council lost its position as the solution. You know, you try to do this and then some of your own people were working with you. They were trying to. So these are some, were some of the problems. Things didn't look good. And yet, we still came to the city in droves. Then the law was changed. It was necessary to change. If there was a continuity with the program, the way how European managed this city, and those who came later, the Kurubias, the Yigas, the Watchers, because there was no need even for government to come in. If people had followed up what the law was saying. Then being that I know, I know the law very well, and I want to be some active. I didn't want to uh, come on the position to be sitting in Bugolobi and then after some time I go there as the Lord Mayor. I said, no, I'm not coming. I can't do other things. In March 2011, the Kampala Capital City Authority under the supervision of the central government was born to address these problems. And now to a new dawn, this city awakes. This city awakes to the challenges ahead. Awakes to road repairs and demarcated green gardens to garbage trucks ferrying away the heaps of garbage and new public transport systems, to lights on the streets and construction of new markets, to new ideas and people, streamlined structures and a corporate approach. The town clerk of Kampala State Council getting 1.2. I think now even a messenger is not getting that. Eh? Realistically, it motivates if the salary is quite high and one works hard protect that good salary is getting and it also somehow limits the temptations. A new pride in serving this city, new laws and duties, to better methods of collecting revenue without which we shall not be able to afford the services. This city awakes to a new spirit of pulling together, of cleaning together, of working together, day and night. New programs for the youth and new avenues of employment, new partners and collaborations, new workspaces. It is tough. Change always is, and not always popular. It is not even perfect, but it is worth it. The challenges are huge, the problems deep-rooted, and the gains of the past few months can be lost. Let the people be sensitized that, yes, things went wrong a long time ago. And therefore, you don't expect it to put them right just within the shortest time. At least the backlog we had is being cleared. It can't be done overnight. That would be foolhardy on our part to imagine, or on the part of anyone. If you imagined that it would be cleared within the first year, that would be fantastic. I give a credit so far they've done well, but the only one thing 
uh, Madam Director should do, which I had. I had a radio program every Saturday and let them know about the programs so that instead of uh, fighting back, they will be able to join you and get interested in the, the, a new change, a new face of the city. Uh, we're doing a lot as KCCA, uh, but still have a lot more to do. We are speaking to the public through the press, uh, through the media houses, through the print and electronic media. We also have the interactive websites. We have the Twitter, uh, Facebook accounts set up for KCCA and, and the executive director. We're also setting up uh, very soon an, a complaints office for the public to be able to come and give us complaints regarding our services and also to be able to get information on things that we're handling uh, as KCCA. We will also continually need the support of our elected leadership because they go down right up to the division levels and we've been trying to forge uh, a working relationship that will enable them to uh, implement, to monitor, to publicize, to sensitize to the lowest level of their electro electorate as part of their mandate as, as the elected leadership. We all need to contribute. It is now all hands on deck. That is the parliament who should help you. But every time they are just looking for the mistake, instead of to see that you are developed. I'm supporting that woman very much, but at some time I'm, I'm sorry for her because whatever somebody had never have experience, never been anywhere, then you find him talking, talking, talking. It is a new Kampala, a new spirit, a new dawn, to ensure things will never again be the same. It is a time to learn from the past and use our present to secure our future. It is up to us to stand up and be counted. It is time for Kampala to take its place among the world's best cities. We need the capital city which is well developed. And we must look forward to support the KCCK, whatever, K, KCCA, to implement their plan. Uh -uh. So, Madam is not doing something against the people, but he's doing things for the better. That woman is not an angel. She needs an idea. Don't criticize her much, but come with an idea. And I think now after about one and a half years, I think it is high time that there is a change for the law. So that that one psychologically, it can also make people understand that there is a change from the former KCC to KCCA. And I think it is the right move. And most important, another challenge, okay, you change from the other log to the new one. But then also to ensure that there is a practical evidence that it is a change for the better. When KCCA was born by the coming into effect of the new law, we are building a new institution since that time in terms of the corporate identity, the corporate strategy, the corporate goals, the corporate core values. We are establishing a new institution. Uh, we've continued to have the impact of in the mindsets of the public. They, they see us as KCC. We've also had uh, people masquerading as our staff, whereas not, using the identifiers that are associated with KCC. We've had a negative public image. The public associates KCC with corruption, with inefficiency, with failure to deliver services, with mismanagement, with looting of public property, and all those other negatives. We do not want, as a new institution, to continue to be associated by, uh, by the old identity because we have put in place a new institution. And even legally, we have changed name we have changed status, we have changed identification, we have changed the way that the city is managed in terms of the structure, the staffing, the, the, the outlook, and, and the efficiency with which we, we perform. So we needed to um, get our own identity stepping out of the shadow of KCC and standing on our own as a new corporate entity that is here to improve the city, make it a better place for all of us, and 
make it work for everybody that uses the city, lives in the city, and wants to invest in the city. So we are branding ourselves as that entity for excellence, an entity that stands for integrity, for teamwork, for um, superior client care, and for excellence in the services that we deliver. So that is why we are rebranding. A journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Today, we put our best foot forward and start walking.